Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know I look a hot mess. I'm doing mini braids and I'm doing, it's just I got so much stuff to do today. It's so fucking weird. But anywho, so today um, I want to discuss my diabetes, my gymnasium gestational diabetes that I have with the baby EJ um y'all I wasn't really shocked that I got I was uh like you know um how to explain it I wasn't I wasn't shocked at all I already knew I think I told y'all guys I was like I feel like I'm a pre-diabetic and yes I am um so now what's happening is that I have to go see a diabetes educationer, education, uh, I don't know, somebody that is specializing in diabetes and I have an ultrasound. And then I have another ultrasound with my regular OB. So next week I have two appointments back to back. On the 29th I have a diabetes appointment i don't know if they're gonna show me how to poke my fingers and stuff like that and then i have another appointment um with my regular OBGYN appointment so i have two ultrasounds and i'm like okay um so i guess i get an updated baby face picture hopefully um they don't want baby to be too big or i'm um, for me to not to push him out so basically what i was told that when you get diabetes in your pregnancy that well in my case i will be a type 2 diabetic if i still have it after pregnancy or if it comes back she said i have a greater risk of this coming back but i talked to my grandma and she was like nine out of ten is probably gonna come back so i'm like okay that's fine or whatever so when I got diagnosed, my doctor called me like within four hours and I took it on Friday and they was telling like the 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 blood work people, the people that draw blood, they was like, you're not going to get no results or nobody's not going to call you until, until um, Monday. But my doctor actually calling me two hours after. I got my test results because I already knew I failed. Um, <clears throat> and she was like, and she told me like, no, we're, we don't play about, you know, that we're not gonna make you wait all week. And then, you know, you be sitting there, you're eating sugar, you know, your baby is gonna get bigger. So that's the deal. Um, once they called me they told me like hey we need you to start doing your sugars she gave me um she sent the i don't know what it's called but it's something to measure your your sugar so you poke your fingers and it measures your sugar and they was like dr my doctor uh wanted my babe well my OBGYN doctor wanted uh me to keep labs of my sugar so I get so I don't know if I'm eating too much if I'm not eating too much y'all it's a lot of work um I feel like my blood sugar is not too high or whatever so what uh I just don't want to be on insulin for the end of this pregnancy I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. I think what's going on is that um, that they're gonna just have me manage how much I eat. Okay, so I've been so they today is Monday. Let me see what time. Today is the nineteenth. It's December 19th and I got diagnosed on Friday. So I've been doing my blood sugar all week, okay? And plus I'm sick, okay y'all? I can barely breathe. I'm sick again, like what the fuck? Um, so yeah, I'm sick again, but I've been measuring my blood or whatever. And I wanna do like a full video of what I eat, what I buy and stuff like that. 
um it's just me getting around getting to it it's just been so much been going on with the diabetes and this is probably the reason why i have been sleep all day because i was sleep oh i'm sorry i'm tired now i was sleep all day that's because my sugar was high and so they don't want the baby to be too big so they want to know how big is baby so i'm happy to see him i'm happy i'm really happy to go see how he's doing um if he's head up or head down or what's really going on with baby or whatever now i know she said that me eating too much sugar will, will present like make the baby bigger or whatever and the fluid around the baby gets more like with diabetes so that's why they want to keep a, a really close eye um on baby and it's just like y'all i've just been going through so much like i want to sit down and talk to y'all about malaysia and her autism but i'm scared to put that out here because i love my baby so much but it's just been so much shit going on y'all i have not like this is my first actual video of talking um yeah, I'm trying to do like weekly vlogs just to get everything out and do more routines and stuff like that for y'all. But I have to get my life together. Like it's just so much. Now me <clears throat> managing my sugars and stuff, I don't know if I want to wait until I have my appointment or what. Um, I don't know y'all. I don't know. I don't know if this going to be included in the day in the life vlogs or what. I don't know. But yeah, um, <clears throat> so with baby, he's real chill. But I noticed like if I eat like grapes and stuff like that, he gets real still. Like he gets really still, like he gets real quiet. Like he'll get quiet, like he don't move as much as me eating protein and stuff. So, um, we, are, I have to go grocery shopping. It probably won't be tonight because I'm, I have to go back and forth for some stupid shit. But anywho, it's just, it's companies, okay? It's companies. But anywho, but yeah, um, baby, he's doing good. So that's why he's so big, y'all, because he's a... He a sugar baby. I call him a sugar baby because sugar babies tend to get big. They don't want him to be nine pounds. And then if he's nine pounds, I have to have a C-section. I'm not gonna be able to push like Nayori. Ooh, we that he was my biggest baby, and he tore. He 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 did a number on me. So me pushing a nine pound baby out is just not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to have a C-section. So. I was just telling Bae because we trying to go on this healthy eating diet. And I was like, you know, with me having been a diabetic, I can't, well, being, having diabetic and pregnancy, I can't eat what I want to eat, okay? Because I noticed, like, if I eat, like, I ate a bowl of, I ate a bowl of two bowls of cereal okay and my sugar went up a little bit and i said to myself like i noticed i can't eat a lot of sugar i mean i can't eat a lot like <clears throat> i can't eat a lot of what that kind is so i've been trying to just take it easy i've been trying to just put proteins make sure i have my meat make sure I have my calories like my grandma said um, my grandma have diabetes so I was telling her and she was like well you know it sounds like your diabetes is stable or whatever so I don't know I don't know until I go see this lady next week when they do all this stuff okay so yeah this is what I'm dealing with there's a lot of adjustment because first of all I'm sick second of all I have to oh that's another thing. I have to poke my fingers four times a day um, just to get a reading of what my sugars are. I want to sit down and talk to y'all a real deep in that video about what, like, about just the diabetes stuff. Because I never knew I had to poke my fingers and about the testing and stuff like that. So, my 
thing is, uh, I don't know y'all. I just be, I be all over the place. I won't think, and me uh, personally, just doing this is so my baby can be healthy, okay? So my baby won't have to be big and then the NICU, and you know, his lungs is not developed. I want my baby to be, you know, be here on time. So the protein in my urine had, it was sugar. Okay, it didn't have to do nothing with preeclampsia. I thought it was, and they was like, No, that's it's because you, you was retaining sugar. So, that's the reason, y'all. So, uh, if y'all feel like I'm stringing y'all along, don't feel like that. It's this, I'm, I'm being 100% honest and truthful with y'all. I'm not trying to hide shit from y'all, none of that. Okay, because I'm not that just the type of person. Um, but yeah y'all I've been going through it I've been sick and stuff like that so I've been trying to get these videos out for y'all um I'm gonna try to get this video out I might not make this another day in a life video it's just me struggling with this eating I was getting like I said I, I don't know how I got off like I told Bay. I get frustrated because I want a certain thing and it's not what I can't tolerate. You know, with diabetics, you only can eat certain, certain things or it's going to shoot your, your, your sugar time. And so, I want a Pacific this. I want this. I want, I'm craving this. And I can't eat it because of my sugar. So, yeah, it's been a learning curve and it's, it's, it could, it's, it could, it's hard because you can't eat what you want to eat. But it's okay because I always think about my baby. He's gonna be healthy. You know, he's gonna come out healthy. I don't want him to be coming out big and he can't breathe. You know what I mean? Or he just can't maintain, you know, do simple stuff. And he could have been inside of me doing that instead of having to poke on him and he gotta have me on a breathing machine and all this stuff, right? So, yeah, y'all, I've been just trying to do a little, a little stuff different. Um, with all of this, y'all, all of it. <coughs> so, yeah, I've been trying. Okay, it's been hard. <laughs> it's been hard, and I don't want my baby, you know, to come out like that, you know. And I was thinking, like, oh my God, my preeclampsia getting worse. It's not that. It's I have diabetes, you know, and it's pregnancy or whatever. So. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to take y'all to the doctor with me to go see baby. Um, at least I get to see him twice on the ultrasound. I think after this, they're going to want to see me twice a week. Twice a week. So, i probably going to have ultrasounds every week. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And y'all, I've been so exhausted. Like, look at that. I got bags underneath my eyes. And that's just because I just been tired. Like this baby is just woo wee. It's take it's taking it. I don't think I'll ever want to go through this ever again. But yeah, y'all. Um I will see y'all in another video. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. And I know this week. What the fuck was that? I know this week. I don't, people be doing weird shit. Um, I know this week has been a little rough for everybody. Well, for me, especially. Um, but I'm going to try to get my ass out of this little funk. And just do what I got to do. Especially for my kids. Um, but thank y'all for supporting me through everything. Um, thank y'all so much. And I will see y'all in another video. I love y'all. Deuces.